Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends speculation slash wish list video on my Marvel Legends Spider-Man comic based Build-A-Figure Wave 2 for 2022. If you're trying to pick up your real Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button button as well as the notification bell and i want to give a big thanks to those of you who watched the other speculation videos like especially the last one that i did on my wave one uh spider-man comic set uh that was the build a figure hippo wave which doesn't exist but hey that would be really cool if it did right if you missed out on that video i highly recommend you check that out and then move on to this one right here because I make these speculation videos and they're really wish list videos, but try to realistically decide which figures to pick uh, within the parameters of how Hasbro works. Now, usually with, especially with their comic uh, Spider-Man figures, they mix them in with movie figures as we just seen with wave one from earlier this year, which was the No Way Home wave one wave, right? So anyway, I wanted to make them all just comic based figures. And I did read your comments from the last video. And there's a couple of figures that I did miss that I have sorely wanted. So let's get on to this list. I have seven regular figures and then a build a figure, which I'll discuss at the end. So let's start off with Mr. Negative. Yeah, a Mr. Negative figure is sorely needed. Oh my gosh, like that's one of that I've mentioned many, many times before in the past. And I was happy to see that in the comments section. You guys reminded me like, oh yes, I've been wanting a Mr. Negative for so long. I mean, not only do we get him in the comics, doing some really cool stuff, which by the way, I love the different artist interpretations of this character. I just think it's really cool seeing just the different styles for this guy. And then seeing him in the PS4 Spider-Man video game was a lot of fun as well. So this is a character that we definitely need in our Spider-Man collections. And as far as a body mold goes, Hasbro, hook us up with a new suited body, please. We have the chameleon body mold, which is probably what they would really do. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they went with the chameleon body mold. And I think that would be more suiting for a Mr. Negative rather than the young Nick Fury body mold, which is a better body mold. But I'm saying like the size of the chameleon body mold. So regular size because Nick Fury is a bit taller. Yeah, regular size, brand new body mold. Uh, you know, with ankles that can move upwards and getting shoulder joints, the butterfly joints, that would be great. And Hasbro, you guys would be able to get your money back because guess what? Mr. Negative has a load of henchmen with the same suit. So you have tons of use for this thing and it would be great to army build this figure. Like imagine if it came with the multiple dragon heads and stuff or the masks and everything, that would be really cool to have. So this would be an obvious army builder and easy to army build i think and it would be great all right let's move on to our next figure and i wanted to again mention check out the other video if you haven't already because they're kind of connected to each other and the next one is riot yeah i want to complete my life foundation symbiote set and riot would finish that off right over here now i did not forget riot last time i wanted the agony first and save riot for later so riot would be dope to have Kind of tough to find pictures of him online, really. But Riot looks really cool, and I think it would be dope if they used the Odison body or the, or the AOA Sabretooth body, which is great. I think that would be a perfect body mold for Riot. It would definitely make him the biggest out of the five, and it's, uh, it's a figure that we definitely need on our shelves. So really, hopefully, we get a Riot figure somehow in the near future from Hasbro. And speaking of completing teams, uh, we also need Overdrive. Yeah, I've mentioned Overdrive before several times. We need to complete our superior foes of Spider-Man team, and or villains anyway. And if you have not read the superior foes of Spider-Man, do yourself a favor and read those books. They are so much fun. They are so silly. Overdrive over here has the power to take any vehicle and just like uh, up the bestiality of that vehicle tenfold. So he just makes like any vehicle around him that he touches he can make it incredibly badass and i think this is a very cool character and he's part of a very fun cool series and i have my superior foes of spider-man up on my shelf i'm just missing overdrive and as far as a 
body mold. Oh, I would also like to see him come with, um, you know, an unhelmeted head too. That would be kind of neat to include that as well. Ah, and then I found this image of Overdrive getting his butt kicked by Mr. Negative and his dragons. They're called the dragons, right? I'm not sure. Or his goons. But yeah, the, the wave is self-contained, right? Yeah, that helps the selling point of the whole wave, doesn't it? As far as a body mold goes, I know it's old and a bit outdated maybe, but I think the Star-Lord body would be pretty suiting for this guy, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I think that one would work. Even though, of course, ideally, using brand new body molds across the board would be cool. But again, as I've said before, I didn't mind it when Toy Biz re would reuse body molds, the Bullseye body mold, the Silver Surfer body mold. Like, those are my favorite body molds from the Toy Biz era, and they reused the hell out of those. It doesn't really bother me when Hasbro does it either. So I would expect them to reuse something, but if it was brand new, that would be way cooler. And moving on to the next one, I would expect Hasbro, and I'm surprised they haven't done it already, but I would expect them to make a screwball. Yeah, now maybe not everybody's favorite spider-man villain she is very new but i really do like screwball a lot now she doesn't really have any powers like she's got the wicked parkour acrobatic skills and everything and i like the character a lot because she's basically an evil online influencer she's like causing all this havoc and stuff just for views and it's just really i don't know especially as me as an influencer on social media seeing a villain that's a social media influencer is just really fun to see and i just just really liked her a lot and they also included her in the ps4 video game she was a very fun character in the game and i like screwball i want a screwball action figure uh, which body mold do you think they'll use i mean i'm hoping for the shriek body because we get the double jointed elbows and the pinless joints throughout and everything and there's not a whole lot of detail on her suit so i think that'd be neat to have also having two heads you know the the two big ponytails and everything that would be really cool to have but yeah i didn't know screwball had the giant two pink pigtails but yeah having an interchangeable head that would be pretty cool too and you know i think you know having a female figure in the wave would be good also and you know we have our female villains let's include them why not all right moving on to the next one and this is something i mentioned last time also but i want the red big time spider-man suit now if you remember me talking about it from before uh the green suit means that you cannot see spider-man or hear him as it's a stealth suit and then the blue version means that uh you cannot see him but you can hear him and then the red suit means that you can see him but you cannot hear him and i think this would be really badass to get all three with the vintage spider-man body mold the retro body that we've seen they're already reusing it a whole bunch so yeah let's get a bunch of big time figures i mean this is something that i really want and i would be stoked to have all three of them especially with some really dope paint apps if they could get that glow thing down that would be really sick and what would be would be also really cool hear me out over here man because i just got that toxy that radioactive red rage toxy just imagine this imagine this how cool would it be if they had actually like a glow in the dark big time spider-man figure that i just thought that would be really cool i'm still head over heels over that freaking toxy figure uh tony from hasbro uh, as ryan said in my interview with him on the rust toy reviews channel said that he's head over heels for that figure too so oh my god you guys got to get that toxy figure it is amazing it is so much fun but anyway back to marvel legends and one thing about the red suit is that i did not realize that kane wore the red big time suit at one point i wanted to mention that i almost forgot but yeah kane wore the red big time suit so that'd be another cool reason you could have your red big time suit and your green big time suit i don't know i don't think there was two i think he just like changed the modes on the suit but still pretty cool fun fact that kane did wear the red big time suit i didn't know that until i was just looking up images and i guess my wave three speculation list we would get a new green big time spider-man but yeah if they could capture that whole fading glowing effect that would be really cool i'm curious to see what hasbro would do if they tackled something like that all right moving on to another character and this is a little bit on the obscure side but i want it and that would be white dragon <laughs> not a very cool character being honest with you i mean he's an older character not really that cool very goofy looking 
but I like it. There's something about it that I just like. It's just maybe with the mouth showing and everything and the eyes and the way the flames come out of his nose and stuff. I don't know. And I don't think this guy really had any powers. He just had the ability to make the cool suit. And he was, you know, uh, I think he ran a Chinese gang syndicate in New York. And I just thought it would be a really cool figure to have. And then I guess for the White Dragon, they could just use the new Vulcan body mold, right? That's replacing the Bucky Cap mold. I think that Vulcan body would work very well for the White Dragon. Of course, they'd have to change some parts, but for a base body, that could work. White Dragon, uh, I think it would be a lot. It'd be a lot of fun to have. You could fit him on the shelf with your Spider-Man. You could have him fight Shang Chi. And there are different versions of the White Dragon. I. I'm just more familiar with the classic version, and that's the version I would want, even the more, even though the more contemporary look does look a bit cooler. But yeah, White Dragon would be really cool to have. And then the last regular figure from this wave, and I mentioned him earlier, is the classic Kane. Yes, the very first Spider-Man clone and gone wrong over here. Poor Kane. But I like this original look, especially if you're an 80s, 90s kid. I mean, the character came out in the 90s, but like, yeah, this is a very cool look, I think. And they could do some really interesting stuff over here if they wanted to add uh, some sculpted pieces to a retro vintage collection Spider-Man body. I don't know, I always felt Kane was maybe just a little bit on the bigger side, but I think that vintage collection Spider-Man body mold works. It's it's a pretty good body mold, and I would like to see Kane with this body mold with the added cape and everything. Uh, it would be cool to get interchangeable heads, and, you know, we've seen Kane before with the Scarlet Spider suit and everything, and that that's a very cool figure. I do like it, but having... Uh, this classic 90s version of Kane with the all blue and everything. I always thought he was just a very scary looking character. Sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. Shouldn't do that while recording. But hey, I think Kane would be a badass figure to have, especially if they got some nice paint detail in there. I don't know. I think there's a lot of room for some very cool stuff getting a classic Kane figure. So I would really like to have that a lot. And I'd like to know what you think. Again, using the retro vintage collection Spider-Man body molds. So that's two in one wave, which they've done before, right? With the Red Skull and the Dormammu. So it's not like it's outside the bounds of what Hasbro would do. All right, now let's move on to the Build-A-Figure. And the Build-A-Figure I'm choosing is the white-suited Doc Ock. Yeah, I think it would be so cool to have this figure. And the big deal why this would be a Build-A-Figure is Bendy Wire Tentacles. Now, the Hasbro team has mentioned before that doing Bendy Wire is very expensive. So if it's going to be very expensive, make it a Build-A-Figure piece, right? Or make it part of the Build-A-Figure. And maybe the Build-A-Figure legs could be mixed in with other characters. I don't know how exactly they would do that. Maybe like one tentacle, and I don't know how, how they would figure that out but getting a build a figure doc ock with the bendy wire tentacles is a huge deal and i would love to have that now why are the bendy wires such a big deal for me personally is because my original toy biz doc ock figure when i was a kid that had bendy wires in it and then when i was in my 20s and i picked up the toy biz marvel legends doc ock series 8 figure that had bendy wire in it and both of those figures were a ton of fun it's like you can't really do the character right without the bendy wire tentacles unless you get some kind of new tech in there that I, I'm not familiar with that would make it a lot of fun, but I don't see any other way aside from having some dope, badass tentacles. Now, Hasbro has talked about how uh, you need a certain amount of, dare I say, girth to the Bendy Wire tentacles. And I'm thinking, you know, the, the girth of the Mr. Fantastic arms seems about right. Uh, they also have the scorpion tail that was released a couple years ago. That may be a little bit too thick, but somewhere in between the Mr. Fantastic arms and that scorpion tail, I think that would be just about right. I think they could do it, man. Come on, Hasbro. We need the bendy wire tentacles. Also, make it so that you could fit it onto our classic Doc Ock that we already have. So that would be really neat, too. Like, if you don't like the white suit Doc Ock as much as I do, which I think is really badass, that's the first time I had seen Doc Ock is with the white suit. So I always thought that was a very cool look. As far as the body mold goes, Happy Hogan. You got the Happy Hogan body mold. There you go. Put your money investing into those tentacles, and I think that would be really badass. I think that would be a very, very cool wave to have, man. Doc Ock is my, is my favorite Spider-Man villain, 
And uh, you guys had mentioned before, like, oh, yeah, we need Doc Ock. And I was trying to avoid repeat characters, but I was like, no, we need a white suit Doc Ock figure. That would be really awesome to have. And I think I think the Hogan uh, body, Happy Hogan body mold would be perfect. You know, the white and black and everything. Really, really cool look. So I want to know what you guys think. That's my list. We have Mr. Negative, Riot, Overdrive, Screwball, Red Big Time Suit, White Dragon, Kane and the Doc Ock. I think that would be a very, very cool wave. And I hope at some point we see this stuff from Hasbro. Now, again, I don't work for Hasbro. I've never been paid by Hasbro. If I was, holy crap, I would be in so much legal trouble right now because you're not supposed to talk about this stuff if you work for Hasbro. So, uh, geez, I think I think we're kind of over the, uh, the the whole the whole conspiracy theory with me working for Hasbro and stuff. I saw some pretty funny comments on that last time. So, man, leave a comment with what you would like to see in a Marvel Legends wave. I love reading through the comments, and I have a great time making these videos and reading your comments. So, leave a comment down below if you liked this video. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Now I'll have an actual two in one marvel legends review going up tomorrow so stay tuned for that and i will catch you guys later peace that's crispy hey new short miss prime videos hey you should click one yeah, click on one of them or subscribe if you haven't shot, we 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 sh